Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Rachel McCrary. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Employees of the city of Flint notified of possible layoffs because the city council failed to adopt a budget. The city's current budget expires on June 30th and Flint's spending authority ends after that date. Without a budget, Flint would be forced to go into a city government shutdown. The council was required to adopt a budget no later than June 7th. Flint's Department of Human Resources notified all city employees that a potential government shutdown could require mass layoffs. And all Michigan families eligible for food assistance will receive an additional payment in June. Those eligible will see the extra benefits on their bridge card sometime between June 12th and the 22nd. More than 1.2 million people in Michigan receive federal benefits through the state's food assistance program. Eligible families do not need to reapply for additional benefits. And this weekend, enjoy free fishing, off-roading, and state park entry during Michigan's three free weekend. Today and tomorrow, no license is needed for fishing, but all other regulations apply. You can ride 3,800 miles of designated routes and trails without an ORV license or permit. Recreation passport fees are being waived at over 100 state parks and 1,300 state-managed boating access sites. And now here's Matthew with a look at the forecast. Hey there, Rachel. Well, we do have another day of some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. It's all thanks to a disturbance that's off to our west today. We're not going to be as hot as yesterday, so we're sort of substituting the heat with the lifting from that disturbance. But there it is nonetheless there in the first one five sky tracker. Now in the first one five hour by hour, I'll show you that we'll still be dry through the rest of the morning. We'll actually catch just a quick break of sunshine in the early afternoon, just a couple of hours between around noon to three o'clock. And then as that disturbance begins moving through, combining it with the heat and our humidity, which will start to go back up this afternoon. That's where we see those showers and thunderstorms coming into play, moving from west to east through the viewing area. Then into the overnight, some showers lingering early before we dry out, and we're just looking at partly cloudy skies through the rest of the overnight, and then mostly sunny skies for your Sunday. As far as today, a high of 83 degrees. Tonight settling down into the lower 60s. The northeast wind today will still keep some of those temperatures along the lakeshore a little cooler cooler in the mid 70s, some upper 70s a little further inland away from the lake shore, but those 70s as a whole going a little farther inland today just because we are uh, cooler as a whole today than yesterday. That humidity does inch back up Sunday night into Monday morning, so that's where we see a better chance of some showers, really more of an overnight event Sunday night into Monday morning. Still some chances for some lingering thunderstorms on Monday, but then past that Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, we dry out with mostly sunny skies, temperatures in the upper 70s before we rebounding to the mid 80s by the end of the week with another chance for thunderstorms on Friday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.